How does an airplane fly? You've probably seen that airplanes need to have a long runway and need to get up a lot of speed. Might not make sense why just going fast enough is going to get you up into the air. Here's what's going on. As the airplane goes faster and faster, there are two theories right now about what happens at the wings. Under the wing, uh, when you're going, you'll see the wing goes back and curves down a little bit. So under the wing, the air is sort of getting... Uh, you might say bottled up by that little bit of curve, slowed down because of that. On top of the wing, it curves down like this. The air that's going over it ends up running faster. When things are going faster, the air, the molecules in the air actually spread apart more. When the air that's underneath the wing is going slower, the molecules clump together more, and you end up with higher pressure. So, and, and on top, you end up with lower pressure. That difference helps to lift the airplane upwards. And the faster you're going, the greater this pressure difference becomes because the air is either moving even faster over the wing or slower uh, relative to one another. Now, the other theory that's going on is that uh, the shape of the wing is literally pushing the air towards the ground. Or once you start getting up in the air, it's pushing the air the air below it. There is stuff in air that gets pushed on. If you've ever been, uh, as say, walking around on a windy day, you can experience that because you feel the wind pushing on you. There's little particles of nitrogen, oxygen, things like that that actually hit your body. They also hit the, the wing and they hit the air below it. And so that pushing down that occurs, the faster you go, the more it's pushing down because of the shape of that wing. And that also lifts the airplane up in the air. So that's how an airplane flies.